guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Sunday, March 26, 2023, and I am coming on here with a wings update for March. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot. You can check out my yarn yakin videos. And I make stitch markers, so go check out my Etsy shop. It's linked down below in the description box. If you could favor the shop and favor a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot. So this year, along with the past couple years, you guys have helped with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area, because that's where I live, and it is called Wings. So all of the links for Wings will be down below in the description box. They have an Amazon wish list, and you can go check out their website to learn more about their organization. So when the pandemic started, uh, they were one of the only organizations I could find in the area that would accept handmade donations. And um, they keep on accepting them. So we're gonna keep on donating until they tell us not to. Uh, so they are accepting handmade donations, crochet, knit, sewn, hand sewn. Um, if you need to buy it, you can even buy it. And uh, every year they've come up with a list of what they are requesting. And this year they've pared it down just a little bit. So if you want to see the list of what they're asking for. Um, it is in the description box of all of my videos, not just the wings video. So you can just go to any of the videos and it's there. And it's also a pinned announcement in the Facebook group. Um, so uh, we are done with February, but I think there's a few stragglers here in, in this um, video that I'm going to show you. And we're almost done with March. So I'm still going to tell you what we had for March. And I have the list right here in front of me. So I'm going to read it to you uh, in case you're not familiar. Uh, March, they were asking for small stress balls, so not using blanket yarn, fidget toys, and worry worms. Um, just so you know, for the next month, April, they are looking for makeup bags, knotted headbands, not like a winter ear warmer, but like a decorative hairband, and hair ties and scrunchies. So you could do two of each per person. So you could do two makeup bags, two headbands, two hair ties and two scrunchies if you want, and you can send that for wings. Um, and if you look at the list, you'll see that there are some restrictions in some of the months. Um, and this is all just depending on uh, what they have going on at the time. So uh, if you have any questions about wings, you can just leave a comment down below or you can send me an email. It's roselikescrochet at gmail.com. Uh, if you wanna get a head start for May, they're looking for diaper bags. So only two per person because they don't have that many babies right now. And June, they're looking for pencil pouches, only two per person. So go check out the list down below so you can see what they're requesting. And I will tell you that today I have 15 donations. I'm so excited. Um, we haven't had that many donations for February or March, and it's totally okay. You know, I tell you guys, if you can find a place locally to donate, I highly encourage that. It helps your community. It saves you on postage. And either way, charity feels good, right? Um, so I do want to uh, let you know that I do thank you gifts at the end of every month. Uh, it's just my way of saying thank you uh, for you guys who donated to us. And it's a random number picker that I use. And uh, last year we had an awful lot of thank you gifts and I had a hard time keeping up with it. So this year the thank you gifts are going to be a little bit simpler. Uh, I am going to definitely be giving away stitch markers every month from my Etsy shop. And I'll tell you about that when we do the thank you gifts. And and Alyssa from Anaya's Toy Box has offered up a pattern every month uh, for a thank you gift as well. So if you are a creator and you would like to donate a thank you gift for Wings, uh, send me an email and let me know. Um, I do ask that no one sends anything to me physically. Uh, so don't send yarn, don't send bags. Uh, if you have something you would like to give away, just let me know. If I pick the winner and it's your gift, then you can send it directly to the winner. So I hope that makes sense. But any designers or makers, please let me know if you would like to donate a thank you gift uh, for Wings. We're gonna do this up through October of this year. So are you guys ready to get started? We have 15 packages today. If you have any questions, like I said, comment down below. Oh, and please like and share this video. That way other people can know about wings as well. And um, what, all the things that you see here, um, comment on what you see. If you like the things, um, hopefully, uh, you can make these yourself. So we're just gonna get started. Okay, the first package I have here is from Molly and Molly is from California. And I have a card 
And by the way, you guys don't have to put a card in your package. You can just write wings on the package. Um, but if you have a pattern or something that you're using, a lot of uh, people who watch the videos are interested in seeing what patterns you use. So go ahead and maybe put like a post-it note or something in there if you know what pattern you used. Okay, so let's see what she writes. Hi Rose, I really had fun with the wings request for March. Can't wait to see what everyone sends in. Thank you for organizing and inspiring us. Your yarny friend, Molly. Okay, and then she did put a list of all the patterns that she used on here. She also put a little dryer sheet in there. Thank you, Molly. Okay, the first thing she has here is this little tiny frog fidget. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is by Kitty Mallow, K-I-T-T-E-M-A-L-L-O-W. So it looks like there is, uh, it's just like something you can, uh, let me see, it feels like there's bumpies here, but that's just the eyeballs. Oh, I know what this is. Are you guys ready? Listen. It's got one of those hair clippies in it, so you can um, fidget with this back and forth. That's so cool. Thank you, Molly, for sending that. Okay, the next thing she sent are these guys right here, and they're so cute. They're called Sunny Fiddle Friend by Jacqueline's Life. So they're little piece, little suns, and they have the eyes on the front, and then you could just fidget with the little rays of sunshine. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, the next one is a crochet flower fidget by All My Crochet. So she sent two of them. And this is basically, you move the beads however you want. And it looks like there's beads in the center as well. These are so cool. Oh my gosh. Thank you for those. And then we have Reversible Mood Octopus by Crafting Happiness. Okay, so here's these guys. And it looks like they turn inside out. So here is one smiling. <laughs> and then, oh, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but so cute. Okay, so here's this one smiling. <laughs> And then let's see what his what his mean face is or his sad face. <laughs> so cute. And there is his sad face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Molly, these are awesome. And the last one is a mini monster. And this is by Chronically Crocheting. Oh my gosh. And I've watched the tutorial for this. I just need to sit down and make it because it's no sew. These are like part, the legs and the arms are part of the pattern, which is my problem all the time. How cute. Oh my gosh, Molly, thank you so much for sending all these fidget toys. They're absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. I love them. Okay, so we're going to get to the next one because we have 15 to go, guys, or 14 to go. This next one is from Catherine, and she is from New Jersey. And I didn't see a note in the bag, but that is okay because I know exactly what these are. So these are a big bag of worry worms and they're so cute. And um, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five. There's like seven or eight of them and she put keychains on them as well. So someone can stick it on their purse. So thank you so much, Catherine, for sending the worry worms. These are awesome. <clears throat> the next one that I wanna to talk to you about is from my friend, Carolyn. She is local and uh, we met up for a yarn uh, extravaganza play date and she handed me a bag of stress balls. So hi, Carolyn. So here are the stress balls that she sent. There's four, five, and then this one she made to look like a peach. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Carolyn, thank you so much for donating the stress balls <clears throat> to the people at Wings. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate everyone who donates. Okay, the next package that I have here is from Sheila, and Sheila is from Pennsylvania. And I do have a card from Sheila. It's that one. And she writes, Hi Rose, I used Hook by Robin's tutorial for the Worry Worms and Fidget Toy Tutorial by Crochet and Create for Shanty. Looking forward to seeing everyone's wonderful donations. Okay, so here are the Worry Worms. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see them. They're adorable. And then here are the fidget toys. So I'm gonna actually take one out of the bag so you guys can see what this is. I still have yet to make a fidget toy like this. I really want to. Okay, so of course I picked the purple one. So it looks like you should be able to straighten it out, but you can't, like you can, um, you can just constantly like pull 
and, and it never straightens out. You can never get it straight. <laughs> so you could fidget with this all day long. And this is great for kids because it's not noisy. So if they need to have something in their hands to fidget with and take to school, this is perfect because it, it won't make any noise. So thank you so, so much for sending these awesome, awesome fidget toys. I really do appreciate it, you guys. Um, believe it or not, it's the end of the month and I still haven't made anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, the next person that I have a package from is from Judy. And Judy has a YouTube channel on here. It's Judy's Crafts and Stuff. So I will link her down below. And she sent a note and she says, Hi Rose, I hope all is well with you carrots and camo. Here are some worry worms for wings. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in the Wings Project and for entertaining us on YouTube with your yarn yakin' videos, Wings Update, beautiful stitch markers, great retail finds, and your many yarny creations. Take care, hugs. Judy here in Virginia on another sunny spring day in winter, right? So here are Judy's worry worms. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. So I know Judy doesn't have cats, so I'm gonna take one out just so you guys can see what they look like. <laughs> now, let me explain. If you do have cats, please leave a note in the bag so I don't open up or you know put your stuff in a Ziploc baggie and let me know that there's cats involved. <laughs> All right, so I think I just untied the bow on this one. Hold on, here we go. Okay, so this is what a worry worm looks like. And they're just, it's like all made in one piece and it's so cute and you can put little eyes on it. You can, if you don't have the googly eyes, you can do like French knots in there or something. <laughs> so cute. Awesome. Thank you so much, Judy, for sending the bag of worry worms. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, go and check it out. I do appreciate uh, any videos that you watch. <laughs> it does help me out a whole lot. Okay, so let me clean up my mess here and we'll get to the next package. Hang on. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Janet and Janet is from Texas. And I have a note from her and it says, Hi Rose, I know I put these 10 worry worms in a plastic bag, but I don't have cats. The pattern is by Hooked by Robin from Janet. Thank you, Janet. It's okay because then it keeps them all together. It's totally fine. So here are all of Janet's worry worms. You can see the little eyeballs on them. They're so cute. Thank you so much for sending them, Janet. I do appreciate it. And yeah, I mean, if you guys want to put stuff in plastic bags for shipping, um, we have really crappy weather here in Chicago right now. Uh, we had a winter weather advisory yesterday. So uh, sleet, rain, snow, you know that stuff. <laughs> and it's spring. <laughs> so anyway, Janet, thank you so much for sending those. I really do appreciate it. All right, the next package comes from Claire. And Claire is from South Carolina. And I have a note. And look at the butterflies so cute and let's see what the card says here oh it's a butterfly card and inside it says rose thank you for all you do and it looks like here is a note with some patterns on it okay and she's got them all wrapped individually in purple paper so <laughs> let me take these out of the paper hang on okay so she says the fidget dolls were by treasures mode treasures made from yarn okay so the fidget dolls um let me see here fidget dolls were made by treasures made from yarn um so i think that's these they're so cute um yes that's these so i'll show you there's faces on both sides Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It's like a worry worm, except it's like that. It's like a sun pattern. And then you just add those these little doohickeys on them. Okay, so there's one. They're so cool. These are so cool. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this one with the doohickeys on the top. <laughs> there's more. These are so amazing. And you guys, they have faces on both sides. Oh my God, I love these. Okay, so these are um, from Treasures Made from Yarn. Okay, and then she says there's crochet flower fidget wristlets and key rings from All My Crochet. And that's Norma. And I got to meet Norma. Oh my gosh, if, if you're watching, hi Norma. Okay, so she just recently put out these videos. So I'm gonna show you. This looks just like the one from uh, the last person who donated. And these beads can go up and down. 
so you can fidget with the beads and it's actually really pretty <laughs> this one she put on a, a, a key ring and this one also has a key ring on it Oh my gosh, so adorable. And then the actual fidget keychains are these guys. This is what I really wanna make. Look at how cute that little key ring, that clasp is. Oh my gosh, and then the beads turn. So you can just um, play with the beads all day long, they just turn. And Norma shows you how to make all of these. Oh my gosh, okay. And the last thing is this Crochet Worry Worm by Yolena's Crochet. This is the biggest worry worm I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, it's so cool. This is so cool. Thank you so, so much for sending all of these awesome fidget toys. I absolutely love them and I so appreciate you guys sending in uh, stuff for people at Wings. Um, I think they're getting ready to put their Easter baskets together. So I know the little dolls from February will go in the Easter baskets. Um, these might go in the Easter baskets too. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, guys, the next package comes from Lisa and she's from Ohio and I have a note here and it says, hi Rose, here are some fidgets I made for wings. You move the marble around the maze. Simple, but I think fun. Thanks for all you do, your yarny friend, Lisa. Oh my God, you guys, there are two stacks of these. <gasps> Look at all of these. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So it looks like it's two pieces of felt sewn together in certain spots and I cannot sew a straight line so this would never work. <laughs> you can see there's a marble and you could just sit and move the marble around the maze. I hope you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Lisa, let us know how long it takes you to make this. This is so stinking cool. Like I would sit and play with this all day long. Look at that, it is so cool. So I am, there is like a marble right in there. These are amazing. Oh my gosh, seriously? Lisa, all of these? Thank you so, so much for sending these for the kids at Wings. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Cherie from Virginia, and here is the card. Hello, hello, everybody. And she writes, um, hello, Rose. I pray all is well with you and your family. The stress balls were made using my Centro, which is a knitting machine. I found the pattern for worry worms on YouTube, a butterfly. Okay, hold on. Let me just show you all the stress balls. These are so cool. Um, here, here they are. So they're used, um, they're made using a knitting machine. That is so cool and they're so squishy. Okay, so there's two, <laughs> there's so many. Four, you have to tell me if it was easy or not because I just got a knitting machine and I haven't tried um, stress balls yet. There's eight, 10, oh my gosh, you were so busy. 12, 14, 16, <laughs> 18. <laughs> 20 and 21 and these are so squishy oh my gosh what do you have in there it's it's awesome i love these okay and then she says i found the pattern for worry worms on youtube uh butterfly craft diy they are so cute i enjoyed making them enjoy your day from sheree oh and she also put some tea in there for me <gasps> thank you so much okay so here are the worry worms that she made and they've got little ears on them I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> They're so cute. And then this is the little note that you can put in with them. Um, and I know that I found this uh, verbiage on the Facebook group called Random Acts of Kindness, but you can probably just Google it. It says, I'm a little comfort caterpillar. Keep me near and squeeze me tight. Tell me your worries and I will make everything all right. Oh my gosh. There's another um, saying as well that you can use. So here is one. <laughs> They're so adorable. They each have a little tag on there that has the saying on it. Here are two more. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Cherie, are you kidding? Thank you so much for sending all of these worry caterpillars. <laughs> I can't call them worry worms, right? Because they're worry caterpillars. They're so adorable with the little ears. Oh my gosh. And here's two more. And then it looks like there's some some uh, store-bought fidget toys, which is totally okay, you guys. There's these. 
This is called a fidget chain. Oh my gosh, so cool. I need to know where you got those, Sheree. And then these are the little pop um, poppets, but they're in a bracelet form. So you can put it on your wrist and then just pop it. <gasps> Cherie, thank you so much for sending all of these amazing fidget toys. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm so excited to go and bring these over to Wings. Um, not next weekend because I have a craft year, but the weekend after that. So thank you so much. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Re, and Re is from Alabama. And she actually emailed me and said, I forgot to put a note in my card that said, do not include me in the thank you gift. So I got your note, Re. She says, to Rose and all the contributors with love and respect. Yes, I do agree. And then here is the card. I don't know if you guys can read it. It says, life is charmed with things to take care of and still you made the time to show you care. So this card is for all of you guys. Uh, it says, we all live busy lives, yet you all took the time to care and crochet. Oh my gosh, thank you. And she sent gift um, stress balls. And I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's like crunchy stuff in there. <laughs> I'm sure it's not, you know what I mean? It's crunchy stuff in there. These are so cool. Okay, I need to know what's in there, Ree. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I absolutely love them. Thank you so much, Ree, for sending these <laughs> stress balls. Okay, I'll stop playing. I'm so sorry. But, um, and that's that's the whole purpose of these is to help people, you know, when they're in a stressful situation, maybe help them feel a little bit better. All right, so we're going to get to the next one here. And let's see, this is from Annie, and she's from Maryland. So let me open the box. Okay, here's the card from Annie. And she writes, hi, Rose, greetings from me and the cats. <laughs> Thanks for all you do from Anne. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anne, for letting me know you have kitty cats. This is a whole bag of fidget toys. So here, let me show you guys. I'm not going to take them out because I am highly allergic to cats. Um, but those are the ones that I was showing you earlier where you pull the thing through the middle and it never ends. It's like so cool. And look at these bright colors. <gasps> I just love them. Thank you so much, Anne, for sending them. And hello to your kitty cats. Um, believe it or not, I love cats, but I'm just highly allergic to them. If I could have cats, I would have 10 of them. <laughs> so, but I can't. So I just have one dog. Um, his name is Camo, in case you didn't know. He's a rescue dog. He is a black lab mixed with a coon hound. So he's stupid and crazy all mixed up together. And he's really old right now. I mean, he's, he's old, so... <laughs> He's all white around his face. All right, the next box I have is from Joe, and Joe is from Arizona, and let me open up the box. All right, so here is the card from Joe, and it says, you are awesome. Hello, Rose, Carrots, and Camo. A few stress balls and fidget toys. Have a great week from Joe. Okay, so here are these little fidget toys that I was telling you about. So it's the same one. I should make some of these. I need more time in my life. <laughs> that one's really cool too because it's a whole bunch of different colors. Then we have this one, this one, and this one. And we have a whole bunch of stress balls. We've got these guys. <laughs> these guys. These are perfect for little hands. Thank you so much for making the little ones. These guys. The big ones are good for adult hands. These little ones are good for little hands. So that was in the box from Joe. Joe, thank you so much for making these. Uh, I'm going to make one of these for myself in purple and play with it. <laughs> if I can find the time to get these done for wings before I have to deliver them. So that's it from Joe. Thank you so much, Joe, for sending that. All right, and the next box that I have on the table here is from Diane. And Diane is from New Hampshire. So let me open up the box. Okay, I didn't see a note from Diane, and remember, that's totally fine. But <laughs> look at this huge bag of worry worms. <gasps> I love them. Oh my gosh, Diane, you're a worry worm machine. <laughs> look at all of those <laughs> with the little eyes. Oh my God, where did you find those colored eyes? They're so cool. I absolutely love, love, love them. Thank you so much for sending this huge bag of worry worms. They're just amazing. Thank you so much. All right, we have two more boxes to go, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Kathleen, and she's from Maryland, and I have a note here. 
It says, hi Rose, I hope that this note finds you and your family well. Here are some fidgets and worry worms for wings. It's so hard to believe that we are almost at the end of the first quarter of 2023. Warm regards and best to all this, all in this wonderful community, Kathleen. Oh, you know it, Kathleen, the time flies. So here are those, um, you know, those little fidget ones where you pull it through. I'm, I have to think of a better name for it. It's just, I'm gonna call it a fidget toy. <laughs> So there's two in this bag and two in this bag, and they're such awesome colors. And then here's a bunch of worry worms. Oh, you can't see them. So here's where you, and she put a note in them, but there's one that fell out. So I'm going to read you the, the note. This is what the note looks like. It says, I am your little worry worm. Keep me near and hold me tight. Tell me your worries and everything will be all right. So I'm going to pop that in this bag. And Kathleen, thank you so much for sending the fidget toys and the worry worms. I really do appreciate it. I just noticed that this guy has yellow eyes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for making them. I really, really do appreciate everyone who takes the time to send something to Wings. It's pretty amazing because, you know, we don't know who's going to benefit from, from all of our hard work, but um, charity does feel good, right? Okay, I got one more box here, and let me tell you, it is from Michelle, and Michelle is from Wisconsin, so let me open up the box. All right, so here is the card from Michelle. And it says, oh, it's a long one. It says, hi, Rose, here is the Little Mermaid. She's the first doll I've made. Okay, so this is a doll for February, but it's okay because I still have dolls to give them for February. <laughs> so let's see, I'm pretty sure this is it. This is her first doll ever. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my God, it's purple. Shut the front door. Oh, I am in love with this doll. The hair is sparkly, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see what she says. She's the first doll I've made. I'm sure there is a special person out there for her. Yes, there is. The pattern for her can be found in a crochet world of creepy creatures and cryptids. In the section, Creatures of the Deep, my daughter made her necklace. <gasps> Gosh, this is not creepy. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sending your very first doll to some little person at Wings. It's so gorgeous. I absolutely love, love, love this. And if I could commission you to make me one, I would, but I don't need any stuffed dolls, but she's beautiful. Okay, and then she says, the fidgets are from various places on the internet YouTube. The circular poppers can also be used uh, as Frisbees. Thanks again for all you do for wings. Take care, Michelle. Okay, so here are the, ah, so cool. So these are the circular, she says, these are the circular poppets. And I'll show you how they work in just a second here. Looks like they're just what big popcorn stitches. So you could see they're they're like this, and then all you have to do is go on this side and pop them through on the other side. But she said they also work like frisbees too. So then you could go ahead and um, throw them like a frisbee. So that's what you're supposed to do with these guys. These are so awesome. Uh, I'm not sure. You could probably um, Google crochet fidget, crochet pop it maybe. I don't know, but they all, all of this goes and pops through on the other side. Oh, these are so cool. Okay, I guess stop playing. Um, oh, here's, uh, here's, oh, what are these? Oh, these are so cool. Okay, so this is also like that little fidget toy that looked more like a big ball, but this one, um, it works the same way. You have to try and see if you can get, get this out, but it, it's like never ending. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So there's this one this one right here is that it so just these two oh my gosh i love these these are so stinking cool and then there's some worry worms in here too oh my gosh look at that 
They are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Michelle, thank you so much for sending all of these really, really cool fidget toys. I really do appreciate it. The doll is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so excited to be able to bring this to Wings. So that is all I have for this update. Uh, there probably will be one more update for March, but it probably won't come out until April. And at that time, I'll also do March thank you gifts as well. So remember, if you're a creator and you want to donate uh, something to me, please send me an email and let me know for thank you gifts. And uh, remember to leave a positive comment down below if you can. Like and share the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.